What's up guys, how you doing? So the last time you guys saw us, we were playing around with a go-kart and it was probably the funnest thing we've ever done inside this bay. I mean, easily, it was a blast. Everyone had a good time. If you guys didn't watch the video, go watch the video. It was yesterday's video, it was sick. So um, today is something that I've been dying to do ever since I put the SR in this hatch and that is switch it to a standalone ECU. As you guys know, we've been doing a lot of tuning this season and uh, I've had a blast, we've learned a lot and we've done some pretty cool things with it. And now it's time to dirty up this car with a Jimmy O-Tune. All right guys, so while I have your attention, I have some pretty big news. Link is actually allowing me to give away one of their ECUs to one of my lucky subscribers, which is so, so badass. I, and I am super, super excited for this. So, so the giveaway is pretty easy. All you have to do is click the link in the description, go on my Instagram, same thing. Uh, you're gonna see the post about the ECU, tag two of your homies in there, two guys that you would think would want to also win the ECU. And once you do that, go on Link's Facebook page. We'll also put the link in the description, give them a like, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Can you handle that, Mike? I can handle it. Yeah, right, see, Mike can handle if it. If I can handle it, trust me, anyone can handle it. <laughs> I'm gonna have the giveaway go on for about five days, right? That sounds fair. Yeah. That sounds good. So, Tuesday the 22nd, today, to Saturday the 26th, I think. Right, Steph, Saturday's the 26th? Yeah, see, it's the 26th. I'll stop it at midnight and I'll pick the winner shortly after and I really really hope someone who really really wants this thing wins it uh, because this is the perfect addition to any car so um, you could either win a plug-and-play setup for your car or if they don't make it you could always get yourself your very own standalone and wire that in or run it on a future project so huge out the link for allowing me to give one of the amazing ECUs away and it's really really excited for one of you guys to win it so but I've done a lot of talking so far so let's get to work so today I want to make sure this car is fully ready to hit the dyno hopefully tomorrow. So we got a lot of work to do. So when it comes to tuning the SR20, um, the biggest limiting factor to them is the fuel system. Um, these things come with 370 cc injectors, which means you're kind of maxed out on a four cylinder around 240 horsepower, give or take. So before we throw our standalone in to unlock all the extra horse puppies that's hidden within this thing, uh, we actually have to upgrade the fuel system to make it worth our while. And just like everything else on this car, I just happen to have a set of injectors laying around and a fuel pump. What do you know? What do you know? <laughs> so we got some Nismo 740cc injectors and uh, an aeromotive pump, I think it's like a 340. I don't know, I've had it for years. So let's get to work, throw this stuff in the car. So one thing that's like super overlooked is actually lubing the O-rings before you put in the injectors. So if you don't put lube on these things, it's actually really easy to pinch the O-ring and, and tear it, or it just doesn't seat right, which can cause a leak. On a top feed injector, if those things leak, you can see it right away. When you turn the car to ACC, build fuel pressure, it leaks, it's like, oh shit, there's fuel everywhere, right? <laughs> um, the side feed injector leaks, uh, it can actually just dump fuel right into the engine without you even knowing it. Uh, then you hydro lock it and it can cause a lot, a lot of internal damage just because you forgot to lube it up. So, Mike, what do we do? Lube her up. Lube her up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just like anything in life, if you have to force it in, that means you didn't use enough lube, okay? Nice and easy. See? Ooh, like a glove. Like a glove. All right, so we threw the injectors in. Now it's time for the annoying part, throwing in the fuel pump. So on S13, it's really easy. Still kind of annoying. Uh, fuel pump. Uh, is right in the hatch, but uh, I have to fully remove my battery tray because it's holding it all together. Played myself. Check this out, look how fat the OEM one in versus the aftermarket one in. <laughs> I guess size doesn't always matter. So swap this thing out, it's actually pretty easy. We just have one fuel line going to it right here. And then we have a power and a ground that we have to splice into it. And all I have to do is just kind of zip tie it to the hanger and you're good to go. So let's bang it out. So before I bolt my whole battery tree thing back together, let's just uh, make sure the new pump works, all right? Keep your, keep your ears peeled. Yes. 
Yup. She's squealing? She's squealing. So would you say this has been the missing link of the project? Eh? Uh eh? -huh. Uh -huh. Steph's laughing. See, that's all that matters. Steffi's laughing. So check this thing out. I already opened it, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. So here's the Link plug and play board right here. So, so this is a full uh, Link G4 Plus that's supposed to replace the stock um, board entirely. So we're gonna be pulling out the internals of a factory ECU and then replacing it with this piece right here. The missing link of this project, as we've said before. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is beautiful. Uh, what's awesome is it has a built-in map sensor right here. Um, and it also offers a lot of um, extra inputs and outputs. Even offers uh, a CAN1 and a CAN2 bank right here, which is really badass. So let's get this in. So our factory EC right here, as you can see, internally, it looks very similar to this piece right here. We're gonna pull out the core, swap it out with that one, put it back together, and get it in the car. So I was able to run our little interface plug through a hole in the ECU and then um, I pulled a piece of vacuum line out for the map sensor that we could just kind of like put a vacuum T into. And then I also ran our expansion harness through the same little hole so it looks all nice and comes out of the side of the ECU. Now before we put the case on this and put it into the car, we actually have to uh, flip some of the jumpers. Now, so this plug and play ECU is actually supposed to fit a wide range of SR20s. Uh, now, in the setup, we have to make sure that we calibrate it for our right SR. So there's a set of jumpers in here, right about here, if you could see them, that we have to put in a certain position based on the year SR that we have. And since we have a 91 to 93 SR20, since we have a red top, we actually have to position our little jumpers um, I guess vertically in this situation and right here they're horizontally Right there, so we're gonna change those up and we should be good to go 91 93 Ready to party so we're on the PC link software right now and uh, It's time to get this thing started for the first time on the link So so getting this thing started on the link for the first time should be pretty easy uh, Now these things come with a startup calibration on them Which should have a tune on it that should be kind of close to your given setup The only thing we're gonna have to do since my car is pretty stock is uh, Scale for the injectors since they are bigger than OEM and this is assuming that we have OEM injectors in it right now So so we're gonna have to go to fuel Fuel main and we have this little uh section right here. So on the Link ECUs, there's actually a couple different ways that you can calculate the fuel delivery or the fuel load or whatever you want to call it. Um, in our case, we're going to be using their traditional model of their fuel equation modes. And uh, with this, there's no like calculations of putting in engine size and injectors and stuff like that. What we have is basically just kind of like an overall scaler, uh, or they call it the master fuel or master fuel trim or whatever you want to call it. So basically, we're going to be adjusting this number here until our uh, fueling table numbers actually make sense with what we're getting on our AFR or air fuel ratio gauge here. It, that's just the broadest way of putting it. It starts off with the number 14, um, assuming I think that we have 370 cc injectors. Um, in our case, we upgraded to 740s, so I'm just gonna basically double it, or in this case, cut it in half. We're just we're gonna go with seven. Take a shot in the dark and see what this does for us. You think it's gonna start or what? I think so. Yeah, you think so? You feeling, I do. You think you're, you're confident in I'm me? I'm pretty confident in All you. Right, let's see. <laughs> Isn't it so good when it starts first try? I love that. It. But everything looks great. I'm stoked. This thing is uh, almost done already. Okay. <laughs> love it. Do it. Oh, that sounds so sick, doesn't it? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love it. So, cool. Um, so, there we go. So, this thing's basically done already. The last thing I have to do is wire an intake air temperature sensor, which should take two seconds with our expansion harness right here. Only problem is, it didn't come in today. It comes in tomorrow, so. Just my luck. Of course. We'll, we'll wire that in real quick and should be ready to go. Um, besides that, it looks like all our sensors are working. I'm always like really terrified when I plug in for the first time that like one of my sensors has been dead the whole time and now I have to go out and find one. And uh, yeah, but I mean, really like beyond being able to get in this and tune it and make some more horse puppies out of it and everything, make it safer, add some cool stuff, add, add a cool limiter like that. Um, 
being able to hop in your uh, ECU like this makes diagging your car a gazillion times easier. If your car's not running right, I mean, you really just gotta start, you know, changing sensors, ohming sensors out, um, switching them around, everything. On a standalone ECU, you literally plug your laptop in and you can literally just see, oh, that thing's not working. Let's replace it, you know what I mean? That alone is so worth it. Like, even if you don't know how to tune, just being able to go inside, data log, see everything, just makes your life so, so much easier. I'm excited. I cannot wait to tune this thing. So if you guys don't remember, this thing actually has a pretty badass turbo on it. It has a GT8 2071R in it, which means we could easily make over 325 horsepower, which is pretty badass. Now, before we're gonna send this thing off to the dyno, there's two or three more things that we didn't do yet that we still have to do. One, we never verified ignition timing. That's probably the most important thing of all is very verifying ignition timing, which is making sure that the ignition timing being controlled demanded by the ECU is actually being delivered by the hardware and making sure it's all in sync together because if that's off, you could be in some really big trouble. So second, make sure you got new spark plugs. Don't show up to dine with old spark plugs. Put some freshies in there and actually show up with an extra set or two and make sure they're gapped well. And then of course, making sure the coolant is fully bled. Um, let the thing idle for a long time. Make sure it maintains a certain temperature so you're not overheating on the dyno. I'm looking like a butthole, so. But besides that, I think we uh, quickly went over exactly how to get ready for the dyno. And uh, it's a pretty easy process as long as you take your time, so. Sumo, did you learn something today? Yeah, absolutely. I learned a lot about uh, Link and how great they are, actually. <laughs> how accessible their, uh, their software is, that's pretty good. See, look at you, you're a pure salesman. Yeah, um, you're, you're... buy their stuff. <laughs> so of course, guys, it's the end of the video. So now it's time to enter Link's giveaway. I don't care if you even have a car, Enter anyways because getting a free ECU is pretty badass. And hey, they're gonna build a car, aren't they? They definitely are one they day. Gotta build a car. They gotta build a car one day. If you're watching, you're gonna build a car one day. So ending the giveaway, of course, like I said, go in, in the description below. You're gonna hop on my Instagram, tag two of your homeboys underneath the post, and then go like Link's Facebook page while I'll also put the link in the description. And uh, that's what I have to do. And I'll pick the winner, and you could potentially win yourself a badass ECU. Even if you don't want it, even if you don't care, just go like their Facebook for me because that all helps me out and uh, means a lot. So with that, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Mike, have an awesome night.